Hi Stay Stitchers, welcome back. My name is Carla and I have some exciting stuff to share with you today. I recently put in an art gallery fabric order and I received them all very, very quickly. And I'm going to show them to you over the course of a few videos. All of them should be in the shop by the time I post this video. So even though I'm going to only show you a few things today, you can go look in the shop and um, it will all be in there. We have rayons, cotton knits, and then we have cottons and cotton voiles. So um, we have all those different things and they will all be available for you by the time this video goes live. So let's get started. I wanted to have, I think I've mentioned like 8,000 times that um, rayon chalet is just about my favorite fabric to sew with. And so, and of course we always go straight for the incredibly beautiful rayon prints that are available. However, if you want to rayon in your wardrobe that works as a basic, you need a solid color. And so, and I probably will eventually carry all of these rayons, but um, this one is in black. Art Gallery calls it caviar. This is not a particularly thick rayon, but it is luxurious and it has all of the gorgeous qualities that we love so much in rayon. This is, it's so soft and so smooth that you almost can't tell it's a chalet at first touch. Cause you know, a lot of chalet has a little bit of a, like almost like a brushed quality to it. And this does not have that. This is incredibly smooth. And of course, it has the beautiful art gallery selvage on it, which would be fun to incorporate into a garment or a bag or something. I, I'm not sure I could uh, throw that away. So there's that, we've got this in black. Then, because I pretty much live for mustard, and I've always loved mustard, and I love it even more this season. And in this one, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, it has a beautiful, luxurious sheen. It's That's how I would describe these rayons, as luxurious. It almost looks like silk. Um, it's so finely woven. And of course, the drape is gorgeous. And again, this is a somewhat lightweight rayon, but I will sew with these for the winter. Um, today I'm wearing an outfit where, um, and I'll have footage at the end of the video, but I'm wearing a um, 100% cotton skirt. Um, I think I got this cotton at Hearts Fabric. Um, and then I'm wearing 100% cotton sleeveless top. This is Vogue 8815. And this is just vintage fabric. Um, that I collected somewhere. It's just 100% cotton. Um, and then I have boots and tights and a Land's in Cardi. Um, and I had to tie the cardigan at my waist because I had too much volume going on because this top is a peplum. But anyway, this is how I do it in Colorado. And I would pretty much wear this all winter long. I've got a slip on, which also provides warmth. And with the tights, I mean, unless you're going to be standing around outside for a long period of time, this outfit is warm enough to get you through the whole winter um, in a building. Um, and, and I kind of will treat these the same. Now, I'm not sure these are thick enough for pants for the winter, but for any kind of top or even a dress that you can wear a slip under um, and boots and tights, I think you'd be just fine and you would feel glorious wearing such exquisite rayon. There's that beautiful selvage. And then the last one I got, because it's not like you can go to art gallery and um, not partake in their prints, which they're known for. I mean, it's kind of a double whammy with art gallery. You know you're getting the finest quality fabrics that you can get, but also the prints and the designs are second to none. And this is just, oh my gosh, you guys, it's so beautiful. 
Um, we have lemons and oranges and blackberries and figs and I guess these are grapes, tiny little grapes. I would say they were currants, except for that's a grape leaf. Um, raspberries, there's strawberries on here. And so you're like, well, that, that seems like a very um, summery fabric. And you could totally wear this all summer. However, it's on um, a dusky navy blue background. And I would wear this all winter long here in Colorado. So... Um, there's that. And again, I'll show you that beautiful selvage. And so those are the three rayons that we got in. So let me show you the kinds of things that I plan to sew, um, that, or that I would sew with that. This is one of my newer patterns. This is Simplicity 8553. I love every view on here, and if you made these out of rayon chalet, that would be, depending on the color and the pattern, of course, this could be a year-round garment for you. Because I would wear both, I would wear any of these over, you know, something underneath that went well. Like she's got on a black top and black pants. Well, you could have the same thing on with not capris and then ankle boots, right? I mean, so this I would wear year round um, out of Shally. This one, there's a long sleeve shirt. This, these are woven, by the way. Um, and I just think that this is a beautiful pattern. And so um, any of these pieces, you've got two tops, you've got a dress, and you have a pair of pants. And I think that would be kind of cool. I want to make this um, top this winter and maybe these pants. Um, and I was thinking, because I really like these two, I like this one with the sheer bottom, the sleeveless one, and then the short sleeve dress. And I was thinking, most of the time you can grab the sleeves from a pattern and put it on anything in that envelope. And so I was thinking of maybe putting those sleeves on the other two and having those for winter as well. And the reason why I do like long sleeves in the winter, but I like narrow long sleeves that I can hold on to and get underneath a cardigan. Like I wouldn't want a flutter sleeve jammed up under here. That would, you know, be uncomfortable to wear and it would look all bunched up. So um, I like the narrow sleeves on that. Now this pattern has exactly what I just said. You really couldn't wear this under a cardigan, but it's so pretty. And I would wear all of these views except for this one in the winter. And I would put a camisole on underneath or a tank top. And that would almost always provide enough warmth for me. And if I was too cold in that, I would kind of be to the point where I'm beyond caring. You know, I mean, I'm just after warmth, not necessarily being, you know, the most fashionable person in the world. And, um... Yeah, I think that's really pretty. This is Simplicity 8455. Oh, and I didn't tell you. This one is Simplicity 8607. Simplicity 8455. This is one of my newer patterns. Yeah, I like that. I got this at the Goodwill in um, Colorado Springs. This is McCall's 6794. And I love this, ver I love all of the versions. But for winter, I love this one, um, the three-quarter sleeve one. Even though it does have kind of puffy sleeves, I feel like you could get a cardigan on over that, provided that it wasn't a super skinny cardigan and that it wouldn't look too bad. And so I think this top would be gorgeous out of any of these rayons. This is another new pattern to me, and I love this pattern. This is New Look 6524. And any of those views would be gorgeous in one of these rayons. I love them. I, of course, would not make these two for the winter time. And maybe not this one. But you know what? I have another pattern that I'll show you in a minute that would be cool over this one. Let me hold this one back. This is a Kali Ali. This is 1945. I've made that skirt out of wovens. I have three of those. It's the perfect length. 
It, it's the perfect width. It's very slimming. Um, I only have summer versions and I wear it. I always wear it with one of my little pairs of tennis shoes. I collect tennis shoes and then I'll wear it with an untucked, um, somewhat close fitting t-shirt. You know, I don't wear tight t-shirts, but somewhat close fitting t-shirt. And, um, and I've also made this top here, which is very flattering, but for, um, the rayon, you could do these pants or you could do this skirt. The rest of it's knits. This pattern, this is Vogue 1580. Um, I might do the black or the pattern, the print one in these. I'm not sure I would do that mustard. I'm not sure that it's thick enough. Um, these are not super thick rayons. They're just super fine, high quality rayons. This pattern, um, both the top and the skirt would be gorgeous in these rayons. I'm not sure I would do the jacket or the pants in something this light, but that top and that skirt would be gorgeous. And then this, this is one of the next things, this is like in my queue. This will be within the next five patterns that I make. And um, I would love like the body of this shirt in the mustard and the back, the contrast in the print. I think that would be so pretty. You might be seeing that happening. That would be so pretty. Okay, so what was I gonna show you? Oh, I didn't pull it. Let me find it real quick. I have, I have a box of patterns here because I'm never very far from patterns. All right. Something like this, the jacket or the little vest. See here she has her vest. Here she's got her jacket and then there's a little vest up here. This dress here with those flo floaty sleeves and the sleeveless vest would be cute. And you could put a belt on the outside of both of them if you wanted, or you could just have them both be super flowy. And um, that's one way that I would wear this in the winter um, because I don't think you can fit these sleeves underneath the cardigan. Not true. You could pull your cardigan sleeves up to here and let the ruffle, the flounce be out of, I've done that before. I don't know why I forgot that. Anyway, that's all I wanted to share with you today. I hope you're as excited about these as I am. I can't wait to get sewing with them. I have several things, that, commitments that I have to get done um, before I can cut into these, but I can assure you that you will be seeing some of these made up in November. So look forward to that. And I look forward to hearing what you think about them and which one you like best. Tell me which one you like best or what patterns you might use and have a great day. Take care. Stop what? We're locked out. Tim Wilson's asleep. <laughs>